Good morning, everybody. What is going on? Alex with Brick Builder here. And today I wanted to talk about a couple things. So first off, before we get into the giveaway, we will do a lot of updates on that, even though I know we just did one recently there. You, you, you all have been throwing out tons of great questions. Um, you know, we ended the video the other day with me going outside to play with my kids in the snow. And a lot of you had a ton of kind things. And I just really appreciate that um kind things to say um i don't know if you can tell in my voice i definitely think i'm coming down with something we ended up spending like three or four hours outside playing in the snow so wonderful time um but man they they, they love to beat up dad and bury him in snow and i think i'm coming down with something so i'm not gonna do my original planned video today um but I did want to kind of touch base and update you guys on uh, what's been going on because since we last uh, released our um, update two days ago, uh, the answering your questions plus update value on the world's on the largest Lego giveaway in history uh, on that video, um, you all just completely blew that out of the water. I mean, over almost 500 comments. It blew my mind. So cool. Um, but you guys also had a lot of good questions that came from that video. So I wanted to address those as well. Uh, the main one being the, the followers and supporters of this channel are not directly central located. Um, Y'all are spread out everywhere. <laughs> and it's it's really cool. Because I get to learn about all of your different cultures from you, firsthand perspectives, but it's creating the problem of doing this live. We're weighing the options. We understand um, when it's you know seven o'clock, eight o'clock in Tennessee, then in the Netherlands or in Europe, it's three o'clock in the morning. In Australia, it's like one o'clock the next day. So. We're, we're highly considering other options. Personally, for me, the way I see this, was seeing this going, was we go live on Instagram and YouTube. We we chat for a little bit while people come in. Um, I kind of tell everybody about the experience, all kinds of cool things about what I've learned about everybody and stuff like that. And then once we reach a certain number, we spin and whoever wins they have to be present so if that person is not present then we spin again until somebody who is present wins um and then when i spin and somebody wins you know we get to call their name they are in the chat we can either share the video with them and they can come on live with us or they can ex they can comment what set they want um, and then we put it up on the screen, uh, we detect the money amount, and then we go into the next round. We celebrate a little bit, and then we go into the next round. And then by the end of the stream, the money's gone. Everybody knows who won, all of that. But it's, because it's the, it's the most transparent way to do this. Um, but the, 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 the big issue is, A, what if, you know, everybody's all excited, and they get on, and we spin, and boom, it lands on somebody and they're not there because they live in Austria, which it's in the middle of the night. They're sleeping. So that's kind of a concern of mine is if, if we don't make it to where you have to be there, then it could be one spin and done. It could be a five minute thing and, and a lot of build up, a lot of hype for something that's doesn't even really get to be celebrated. Um, so that's kind of why I'm thinking about going away from the live feel and just doing a video now my thought is and i would love to hear your your thoughts below um so comment down below what if we did a video just like this um where i will show the screen of the spinning or entering everybody's names doing the spinning we announce the winner we say hey john doe you have three days apply reply with your set of choice once that person replies um i deduct the mount and then three days later i release another video 
So every three days we release an update on the dollar amount, new winners, what the winner, previous winner picked, um, all of that. We can even do, I don't know, just, just a thought. So let me know down below if you think that's a good idea, if that's something you'd like. Um, yeah, just to me, I mean, I, I wanted to be as transparent with this as possible. I want as many people as possible to be able to participate. And I want to have fun with it. I want to be exciting about it. I want it. I really want to enjoy it with everybody. So, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Let me know what you, you think, if that's a good idea, if that's a way we should just move this, continue to go forward with that, because I would like to lock in that so everybody uh, is aware. I don't like having um, a lot of people kind of be questioning whether or not they're going to be able to attend. I don't think that stress uh, is necessary. I'd like to be very upfront. So uh, one thing I figured we could do today is just before I tell you the dollar amount, Let's look at some of the sets that everybody was going to be claiming. And let's divulge, okay? So the other day we asked, you know, what sets would you claim? And a lot of you came up with some really good ones. And um, I really, really enjoyed reading them because, honestly, it, it made me want to... Whoever wins gets whatever set. It made me want to order the set with them. Sorry. <clears throat> but I was like, you know what? Let's go through and see. With me knowing what the to total dollar amount is, let's see what people, what your, your comments, would you be able to buy? So the first one was the treehouse. There was a couple people that said this was their dream set. Um, it is a lovely set. I have it up here, right there. Very cool set. I built it multiple times. That was picked a number of times. Typewriter. That's one that I've been wanting for so long. Um, and, you know, I, I've never bought it because of the price. But I tell you what, when you hear what the total dollar amount is on this, and then you factor in, I'm going to buy that much dollar amount of Lego for people that I've never met before in my life. $250 on a typewriter doesn't seem that much anymore. So maybe this year we'll get that typewriter finally. Um, moving on. These three, Nintendo, the NES system, Mighty Bowser, and Pac-Man, all three have been very, very common in the uh, the comments, um, and very rightfully so. So $270, those are in the bucket already to be able to afford. Surprisingly, nobody said Real Madrid or Assembly Square. I mean, they did say, most of them when they talk about modulars, they just say modular building, but I figured people would be all over Assembly Square. I'm pretty sure it's retiring this year, but moving up, Hogwarts Icons Collector's Editions. Hogwarts Icons, I've seen this set. It looks really cool. I don't know why I've never got it. Maybe because it's $300. Haunted House, nobody has said that. That's going to retire soon. Unless it has already. I could be wrong. Nobody has said the Motorized Lighthouse. So, very interested. Very, very interesting. The thought that goes through uh, everyone's mind, it's very fun to see. It could almost, almost be like a social experiment, I think, because um, a lot of people are dishing out multiple scenarios, and I really enjoy reading that and how everybody's mind works, because this is not something I expected. A lot of people are saying, hey, this is my dream set, but it's very expensive. So if I'm the actual winner, I'll either go dream set or something smaller and pass it along, which I think is very generous, uh, because again, you're not required to pass it along. Um, but then other people say, well, if I win and, and you know I'm the second or third winner, this is kind of the order that I'm going in. I'm like, wow, y'all are, y'all are like fantasy football drafting this. And I think that's really cool because I was not expecting people to do that. Um, where they're like, if this set's available at this price, I'm going to get it. And, and I think that's very cool. So, um, a lot of people said Lego ideas, uh, home alone set, which is, can't go wrong with that. Orient Express and the natural history museum. Uh, for those of you, uh, who are new, just a couple of months ago, or about a month ago, I got the Natural History Museum. It was either that or the Orient Express, and I went with the museum, and it's now in my city. Um, 
Ninjago City Gardens was a common theme. Same with Ninjago City Markets. Daily Bugle as well. Very popular choice. Uh, 350 that would be a popular choice because you can buy that and still certainly pass on to a second winner so that's pretty cool you can basically get your dream anybody can get their dream set to start pretty much um and pass it along uh the republic gunship was on there a lot a lot of people were really liking that the grand piano i did not realize that was 400 a couple of people said i needed to get that for bowser um, I agree, but not for $400. Uh, most Isley Cantina, $400. Again, that's one I've wanted for a very long time. I do believe that's retiring this year. And I think that is, is a set it, that it must have set in my opinion. Uh, the loop coaster, I think this was only mentioned like once or twice. Maybe it's not so popular. Kind of mind blowing. Batcave Shadow Box. Again, that's one that's been rising on my list. I need to add that so I don't forget. And of course, I don't understand what the errors are, but Batman Shadow Box, Disney Castle seems to be a very popular one as well. A lot of parents, younger parents, uh, want to get that for their kids, which I love. Lion Knight's Castle as well. And Gringotts Wizarding Bank, you know, for, for Harry Potter being such a uh, popular genre or category of Lego, I think Gringotts Bank was not mentioned as much. I feel like um I mean I feel like Diagon Alley was on there more. I feel like Hogwarts Express was on there more, but the Ferrari and Lamborghini um I did not realize those were $450 uh but those were on there quite a bit. I can't believe Diagon Alley's $455, $450, but it is 5,000 pieces, so that does make sense, so. Maybe I'll have to get that one in the very near future as well. It's very difficult to want to buy Lego when you're about to spend so much money on Lego that you can't afford your own Lego, but it's, it's, I don't want anybody to feel bad. I don't want anybody to say, you know, I want this set, but I don't want to cut. I know what I'm doing. Um, I was always taught that money is not everything and memories are better than money. So I'm, I'm trying to make some memories with y'all here. So don't feel bad for me. If you feel bad for me, you're going to miss out on an amazing opportunity and making a great memory, not just with me, but with all of us. Um, Hogwarts Castle, 470. Honestly, that's the thing. I think Hogwarts Castle, it makes sense for 470. I don't think Diagon Alley makes sense for that, but I could be wrong. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I, I'm definitely probably wrong because I'm usually wrong. That's what my wife says. <laughs> Hogwarts Express, Collector's Edition, 500. A lot of people have talked about that. Rivendell. I mean, I might as well just order Rivendell right now, um, because... I would say like 75% of you said you would get Rivendale. And for $500, guess what? You can get Rivendale and still pass on money to another winner. Pretty cool. Avengers Tower, another very popular one. Hulkbuster I've seen in there multiple times, but it's not been the most popular. And it kind of blows my mind when I see the Hulkbuster now costs more than Rivendale. Makes Rivendale even a more, uh, like, a nicer set to get uh the razor crest and the venator class i mean it's i feel like the, whoever wins it's going to be rivendell razor crest or venator um those those are the ones that everybody's been talking about eiffel tower 630 dollars again that's within budget and you can still pass it along titanic another popular one 680 dollars can probably get and pass along once we hit this the 700 dollar mark um depending on where you're at in the country that's kind of where things start to get iffy with tax and shipping um where i'm not gonna say you can definitely get this right now uh because i don't know how taxes and shipping works in other countries so i don't know it could be a big thing hit or it could be a little hit i'm not sure but titanic would be a great display piece and then the Millennium Falcon in AT&AT, AT um, both of those $850, both of those very popular ones. Um, 
I believe both of those are going to retire soon. And currently at the moment, yes, you can buy both of those, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, because we got two weeks left. And we are currently at $813.60. That's, that's wild. So, I mean, yes, you, we're, we're not quite at that point for the Millennium Falcon or at, -AT but with two weeks left, we were 100% going to get there. So those are some of the most popular sets that y'all have uh, reached out and asked about winning. So good luck to you all. Again, I really love the conversations that we get going in the comments, so please feel free to comment below. Definitely let me know down below what you think about doing it, just a regular video versus a live video, if you'd rather do that so we can kind of kind of chisel that in and make it hard and uh, kind of move on from that to where we all know that it's going to be just a regular video or, or if you still want to consider doing it live, let me know. Um, so thank you very much for watching everybody as always, you know, we really appreciate your support. Your growth is what really helps our channel survive and not just survive, but flourish. And it truly means the world to me. So thank you so much. Um, I did want to say one thing. If you've not joined up for our memberships, click that link down below. Um, it would be a huge thing that we're trying to launch, um, where we can kind of release, uh, you know, special activities for our members of the Brick family and all of that. So definitely check that out. I know that's kind of a loose explanation for it, which maybe I could touch base, um, soon, but I didn't want to eat up all your time today. So definitely make sure you tap that link. And, uh, if you're interested in joining our memberships, and uh, we're working on getting y'all some really cool uh, perks for joining. Um, a couple people have joined already, which I'm really thankful for. And that's just extra motivation to get better things um, going in there. So thank you so much. Uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And comment down below. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Have a great day. Stay happy. Stay humble. Stay kind. Most importantly, stay creative. As always, we will see you next time.